where's the street? Converse long. Ascend, 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 Prince was really committed to education. I think he deserved whatever that is being awarded to him now. Everyone has one thing that keeps on calling, but mostly very silently. Come with us to the eastern region to meet Jericho Elam Teofilos and Anita Bedu, who, despite their limited options in life, decided to achieve their dreams through discipline, determination, and hard work. My name is Anita Bedu. I am 17 years old. I attended school at Ekopon School for the Young. My current school is at Okwa Senior High School. Anita Bedu. Anita has been a good girl all throughout her stay. We never had any negative comment about her. She's very quiet and she's a girl of few words, but very brilliant. She's always with her books. You scarcely, even some of the staff don't even know her. My parents support me with financial problems. They make sure that I'm always happy. I'm Bonnie Dennis, a student of University of Ghana and a brother to Anita. It is quite sad, it is quite depressing for you to have two uh, blind, quote and unquote, but I prefer calling us visually impaired students in one home or a family. But our parents have been um, a source of revolution, great um, revolution behind us. They make sure that they provide everything. Because and there are a lot of challenges she went through in the school. We are telling you, test, we don't have enough textbooks in Braille. But despite that, they managed to make it privately. You know, the school is a government school. The children don't pay tuition fee. They are being catered for by the government. Government provides infrastructure, pay teacher salary, provide for them. But since government alone cannot do it all, you always get individual philanthropy churches organizations even people within the government coming to support when i was here the school campus was not friendly to me there are many gutters sometimes we don't get reading materials to read when i was here as, as we were and when and as we were growing and my i saw something very very nice about my sister saw something great about her I saw that um, she has a very retentive memory. Anything you say to her, um, she keeps it. And what I told her was that the sky is her limit. When I heard the news that I was selected as the best girl in my region, I was happy. I was happy. She won that go, she won that man finish. Mean that me will be a machine. Can many your Jeffy mean that I'm a fear machine? I can make a nuku, 
All I will say is that we thank our parents so much for not giving up on us. And then we thank God too for helping us fulfilling this mission. I'm saying us because um, it's for all of us, even though she has won it. And we are not stopping there. We will continue to do it and do it well till um, God calls us. I want to advise my friends in the same condition that they shouldn't give up. I also want to state that Anita is not the only person who had that award. There's another boy, he's called Elom Dirako. You know, Elom too, well, he is in low vision. And Elom, when he was here, at least we saw it in him that he was up and doing. When it comes to music, music is on top. So he was entertainment prefect. He was taking care of the school band, brass band, guitar band. He was all over. And that's why that he coupled it with his studies. When it comes to studies, he was there. He was even one of a regular participants of the National Strips Spelling Bee. And he was a spelling. The spelling bee was very good. He had attended a lot of competitions at the national level. I was born blind, but was not known earlier. I was with this problem for some time before we got to realize that this is my problem. Sometimes when the sun shines a lot, I will not be able to see. So normally I don't see within the day. In the night, then I'll get a little vision to add to the day to move about. So sometimes I even bump into items and I get hurt. We realized this and I was sent to um, a coupon school for the blind for my education. Theophilus was posted, uh, was placed in the school last year. And uh, ever since I met with this boy, more seriously, I, I found in him something great. I can see a lot of potential embedded in this boy. Uh, what I can see in him is that this boy really has something great in him which can make him to get to a very high height. Why do I say so? The boy is more serious with his academic work. Any time and anywhere you meet him, he is with his books. He is not absent from class. He doesn't come to class late. He's always at it. And you can really see that the boy is really having a very great height in future. I'm very happy for this um, presidential award for my brother, Elam Teofilos Jirako. And <laughs> I don't know if you want to say unexpected. We don't expect this to happen. I'm very, very glad. And I'm full of joy within my heart. Anytime I speak with him, you realize that he will be talking to you about his ladies and gentlemen the dreams that may we please rise for, for the arrival of to be the president of the republic the of ghana president Nanado Dankwa he also feels that, like he wants to be a teacher
You may please be seated. Mr. President, we'd like to welcome you to this year's edition of the President's Independence Day Award. There's an African proverb that says a big cock does not crow without a reason. And there's a reason why we are all gathered here today. As a nation celebrates peace and unity, it also looks forward to prosperity. And in doing so, it recognizes the role of its young people, especially the brilliant young people who have showed their precocious talents already with their academic achievements. And today, the president will be honoring these young people selected from across the country. These are 20 of the best students, selected two from each region, but then also we have four students who have distinguished themselves despite the fact that they have special needs. And so, excellencies, traditional rulers, ministers who are here present, the students who are here to see their colleagues honored, and who are seeking to be encouraged by this honor to also achieve on their own, would like to welcome you to the Accra International Conference Center. My name is Samuel Bartels. Tonight, well, this morning, I'll be doing this with a very lovely lady from the Ghana Education Service. I'll let her introduce herself. Oh, thank you so much, Sami. I'm Cassandra Chum Ampofo, the head of PR for Ghana Education Service, and I'm excited already to be part of this all-important program. We set the ball rolling with a prayer, and it's my pleasure to invite one of the award recipients, the male award recipients from the Upper West Region of Ghana, Master James Jokwite, to give us the opening prayer. Let's welcome him with a warm round of applause. Shall we please be in the mood of prayer? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us life this morning. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to be together here this morning. We commit all that we are coming to do into your hands, that you, the good Lord, may give us your grace and be with us. Help us to run this program to a successful end, and your name shall be glorified. We made this bread to Christ our Lord. Amen. of applause for um, James. We will have our opening remarks and it will be done by a personality. We all know he is a medical doctor who has handled the education ministry so professionally to the amazement and admiration of all and sundry. He is very firm and fair MP for Mencia South and one thing many of you here do not know is that this is a minister in whom all of us that work under him, I mean all agencies under him are well pleased. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Honorable Dr. Matthew Pokupempe to give us his opening remarks. President of the Republic, Nana Adodan Kukufuado, Ministers of State, my Lord represents the Chief Justice, Honorable Members of Parliament, Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Directors of the Ghana Education Service and of the Ministry of Education, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Nime, Name, Parents and Teachers, Dear Awardees, Friends from the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to this year's President's Awards event as we celebrate students who excelled at the BEC examination in 2018. I believe we all share in their joy at being honored today, and I wish to extend my congratulations to them for their feat, especially those with special learning needs who have persevered against all odds to excel. Ladies and gentlemen, in spite of our differences as a people, Ghanaians have learned to live with each other in a spirit of peaceful coexistence as one nation with one common destiny. Of course, this has not been without its challenges and strains, but what binds us together is far stronger than what divides us. And it is why I'm pleased to note that the theme for this year's independence celebrations is celebrating peace and unity, because these two tenets are fundamental to our survival and progress as a people. Under the visionary leadership of President Nana Adodan Kwekufuado, 
This government is pursuing several reforms in education in a bid to improve learning outcomes in our schools to drive national development. These include the areas of curricular reform, teacher training reform, technical and vocational training and education, improved access, school leadership and accountability, and several others. As the Minister of Education, I am profoundly grateful to the President for the opportunity to be at the forefront driving these reforms through, and I'm confident that they shall endure to our collective benefit. Without doubt, these reforms will amount to naught without the conducive environment of peace and unity among our people. A united people are able to dig into their reserves and pull their resources together for common good, and a peaceful society enables talent to flourish. President Kufado's commitment to a peaceful, just, and united society is without question. Throughout his life, especially in his public service, he has been committed to building bridges and ensuring that ours is a society where we are each other's keeper. I am confident that under his leadership as President of this Republic, he will continue to inspire us as a people towards a common goal on the path to progress. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this government will continue to drive reforms in the education sector with a view to achieving excellence. We will continue to celebrate those children who excel and inspire them to excel and be the best that they can be. And I believe firmly that with God on our side, with a common sense of purpose and a peaceful coexistence in this country, these children will prevail and stand to be counted in this land of prosperity, of promise, and of opportunity. On this note, I would like to formally welcome you all to this year's President's Award and to wish you all the very best. I thank you so much for your time and attention. Thank you very much, the Honorable Minister of Education, whose middle name is Reform these days. Um, thanks for your speech. At this stage, we'll just pause briefly, and the police band will give us some musical interlude, and then we shall roll on. Thank you very much.
police band. They never get a note wrong. Um, at this stage, before we move on, I'd like to acknowledge a number of people who flank the president on the days this morning. Before that, though, I'd like to acknowledge the ministers who are here, um, our eminent chiefs who have lit up this place with their authority and the colorfulness with which they have assembled here today. I also understand that there are several uh, um, directors of the Ministry of Education and other ministries and also several directors of the Ghana Education Service I'd like to acknowledge you. And then the members of the Diplomatic Corps, we are so thankful that you have joined us today on this special day which is part of Ghana's Independence Anniversary Celebration. In no particular order, let me um, first acknowledge the presence of a Justice of the Supreme Court of Ghana, Mr. Nene Abayate Amegache, who is here with us today. Now I shall enter the education front because the captains of the education ministry are here in force. Let me um, introduce Professor Kwesi Yanka, who is a Minister of State in charge of tertiary education. He's here with us today. We also have with us here today Dr. Yao Osei Duchum, who is a Deputy Minister in charge of general education. Also here with us today is Madame Barbara Asha Isi, who is a Deputy Minister in charge of TVET. With us also is the Greater Accra Regional Minister, the Honorable Ishmael Ashiti. I'd like to introduce to you the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesi Opokwa Mankwa. Last but certainly not least, let me introduce two people who are crucial to the extent that the brand that they represent has been enmeshed in this event and over the years they have provided steady support for this and many other education and sporting related activities in the country. And so first let me introduce the MD of Nestle, Madame Philomena Tan. Mm. And also the financial controller of Nestle, Mr. Osman Kamara. As we go along, we shall do other acknowledgements. Thank you very much for your attention. At this stage, I invite Cassie. Thank you so much, Sami. Um, we will have um, the toddler's drama, and they would be performing a play entitled Get On Board. Um, the drama would be performed by Presby KG Osu um, in the Accra Metropolis under the directorship of Mar Margaret Frimpong Corey. We shall now have the Presby KG students, um, pupils here, to have the drama. And ladies and gentlemen, please be informed that they were taken through rehearsals by their teachers, Madeline, Sam Arthur, Dinah Asiedu, and Marian Asa. And all of these were coordinated by Phyllis Amwatin, Greater Accra Regional Cultural Coordinator, Justice Sunipa. Off to the farm. Hey, it's 
Tommy, I'm so tired. From the farm, the chief Coco Faba, the boss himself, have a seat. Thank you. Enjoy your. It's a nice car. I just bought this car from the cocoa farm. It's a nice car. Now my daughter, now my daughter is in the medical school. Wow, that's great. All thanks to the Coco Farm, our parents left for us. Uh -huh. My friend, I want to plant some oranges, palm, and cocoa in addition to what I have. <laughs> what are you saying? Start a new farm when you already have one. Nobody knows tomorrow. When well, you enjoy that food, me at target never be so foolish. Thank you for your advice. <laughs> My husband, your food is safe. Take the lead and let me dry you soon. When I told you about our plans, that's my my husband. Some friends are like that. Let's go on with our plans. My husband, eat your food. My wife, our food is delicious. Few years later, Ata Adete passes by and sees that Ata Oko's plantation is bearing fruit. In that same season, all the old, to, all the old cocoa plantation, including that of Ata Oko, did not bear a single fruit due to old age of the tree. Thank you.
Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that you are not done. Okay. Well, I'm told they are not done, so they'll come back. Farm and started bearing fruit. I will go and see at Aoko. Good our family. What has been so good to us? Ago. Go. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Atagete. Have a seat. Thank you. What brought you here today? I'm here to say sorry for a certain issue. For I give me my good friend. I want to make a new farm too. Don't worry. I'll give you scissors for the next season. Thank you. Oh, my baby, I'm 
Thank you so much, Press BKG Osu. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, let me acknowledge the following people for coordinating the toddler's drama. Madam Phyllis Amwatin, the Greater Accra Regional Cultural Coordinator. We have Justice G. Sronipa, who is also the Accra Metro Cultural Coordinator. And Mrs. Gertrude Awule Temengil, the Central Cultural Coordinator. And they coordinated under the supervision of Mrs. Joyce Afre Nyama, Director of Cultural Education, Ghana Education Service. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cassandra. We continue, and for over 30 years, Nestle Milo has, in partnership with the Ghana Education Service and the GES, been building champions in sports and in education. And as a brand that believes in quality education, they have been proud sponsors of the President's Independence Day Awards for over 13 years. And so it is with pleasure that I invite the MD of Nestle Ghana, Madame Philomena Tan to come and then share with us a few remarks. Please let's welcome her with a warm round of applause. There was a very beautiful piece of drama by the toddlers. It's very difficult to follow and act like that. <laughs> Your Excellency. Thank you. President of the Republic of Ghana. Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado. Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Matthew Apoku Prempe. Ministers of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, Distinguished Members of the Diplomatic Corp, Chief Director, Ministry of Education, Director General, Ghana's Education Service, Heads of Departments and Agencies, Traditional Rulers, award recipients, parents and teachers, school children, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. This is my first year here in Ghana, and I'm so excited to be here today. I bring you warm greetings from Nestle. I'm delighted to be part of the celebration of academic excellence amongst the youth. Over the past 14 years, our cocoa beverage Milo has been associated with the President's Independence Day Awards. This awards has continuously inspired academic excellence, recognized outstanding student performance in the basic education certificate examination. I am particularly excited about the respect for diversity and inclusion exhibited in the awards scheme through the recognition of four brilliant students with additional education needs. Through such efforts, we truly demonstrate that together we can build an inclusive Ghanaian society. Your Excellency, over 62 years, Nestle continues to contribute to nation building through the provision of healthier and tastier food and beverages choices that complements the nutritional needs for growth and well-being of individuals and families. This is one way we bring to life our purpose of enhancing quality of life and contributing to a healthier future. Your Excellency, apart from our support to the President's Independence Day Awards, Milo has over the past three decades in collaboration with the Ghana Education Service, been discovering and developing future champions through the Milo Under-13 Football Champion League. 
This is a platform where raw talents are unearthed and nurtured. Every year, this championship reaches over 100,000 school children across the country. It is fulfilling to say that some of these young children eventually develop their skills further and end up in the national football teams. Your Excellency, we are proud to say that the, the two of the participants from the 2014 edition of the championship are in the national under-17 football team. As a company committed to societal development, Nestle champions initiatives under the Creating Shared Value concept to help improve livelihoods and contribute to building thriving and resilient communities. These initiatives contribute to the Sustainable Development Goal 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, Goal 4, Quality Education, and Goal 6, Clean Water and Sanitation. In partnership with Ghana Education Service and the University of Ghana's Department of Nutrition and Food Science, we are implementing a nutrition education program called the Nestle for Healthier Kids. Since its inception in 2011, we have reached over 25,000 school children and 600 teachers in five regions of Ghana. Your Excellency, as our contribution to addressing water and sanitation issues in selected parts of Ghana, Nestle is in collaboration with the International Federation of Red Crescent and Red Cross Societies, has provided over 52,000 people living in farming communities in the Eastern and Ashanti regions with clean water, sanitation and hygiene facilities. Today, school children in such communities have access to safe drinking water and sanitation facilities enabling healthier learning environment. On behalf of the management of Nestle and our brand Nestle Milo, I congratulate all of you, winners of this year's President's Independence Day Awards. Know that everyone gathered here today, our leaders, your family, your teachers, your friends are proud of you. We believe in your capabilities and we urge you to work harder to attain higher heights. Thank you and happy 62nd Independence Celebration. Thank you so much, MD. We shall now have the children's message to the nation and it will be done by pupils of Independence Avenue 1 and 2, Kanda A. AMA Basic Schools and Ring Road East Basic School in the Accra Metropolis. And the message will be said in Akan, Dagbani, English, Ever, and then Ga. Shall we give them a round of applause as they descend? I am here to smile. We are school here in Independence Avenue 1 Basic. We are here to share with you. 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 Gana gwe ke bi mi ha me ni to ma an shishin. Ke onu pa ife ni a me yano 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 a me
ayeko ma hienye lo da afrika ese gana heyeli na mo bijuran anyo gana gbe kebi agbe ni ameke she abahabu no hewo ko ba cho hegbe ne no koni akesusu oblayi ke oblaye ahe ma hienye lo gana gbe kebi ye he mo ke yele yo omli no ewo wonda bo shi baba o anopa oji che ni ye we bi ya he tridro Oba modin ni oye o siwe isa ano ye free senior high school gbeji ano to e na me ni benoko po e na school chose mo mlingbe e nwo wo na ajogba ake chose mo e isa e na school bi ani yeli ha mo gbeji ano to e ese ajogba onupa ma hi enye lo wo shwe ke so le moji ake amra lo fe iba ya no ni amekwe ni ake school chose mo aye kenkle gbe he Bona fe ni afine o ti na ke yo gbidran ni ne asono ke o manye ye ni eni baba o na mo ke apa ye li egbeje ano to e na anya agbo ohin ano kra ye mamli ke fata he na ko he egbeje ano to e hun eye ebu a oblahin ke oblaye isan ni ameka medical se mo in ese shon e na apa meje koni ameye amebua ni akechu ma no ya he ni agbenne popa e pa he ni ache ba ha no ya ke shere mo aba onupa ma hi enye lo otina ke yo afine egbijun ni gitu enjole na mo ke ma eko me fe mo no ke mba ni ami ama bi asheshe na mo ni fe mo amli koni akeku awiye li ni fe mo ni ba yen awo gbe ke bi ahegbe ye onupa ma hi enye lo wonda bo shi baba o ake oye obu awo nyami mehi ke nyami meye ni ame yo dagbon ni a ke ba tu enjo leke e ko me fe mo ye je won ba me fe ko ni ame jesu omopo ana tu ishi to ake to mo ake ni ake wo ni sa aha ha iwo he ni gbe lu e ko me fe mo na mo ke tu enjo le na mo he gbe onupa ma hi enye lo wo ga na gbe ke bi ba smo ni abo modin koni akuju ke fun ni fe mo ife ana ni ekeno ya aba ma hi enye lo e ba ngo wo na njogba ake aba wo me ahewale ni amenya ni bi ni afeye wo manga na he fe man se ni bi bona fe ni eye ebu aga na ni eya ehie wo ba cho hegbe na eno ni wo je oyi ya ta de isu ote ni afeye ga na ni owo ke ya hey hey ahewo eji no kwa mo no papa ke fata he onupa ma hi enye lo won ba ni abo modin koni atojo e alo mo ke fale fale fe mo he gbeji ano jogban ye wo shi an ke mamli koni ake gbonu afu ano ni mamli a che fe fe o koni ake jo he lai ana afu e ni won na gbo mo chun e wale papa ni ake ba ga na no ya ke shere mo na de onupa ma hi enye lo na na adoda nkwa akufu ado ga na ma hi enye lo ye ga na agbeke bi agbefa wo wo shi ake wo ba ka se ni njogba wo ke wo ba ha onupa yi ni wo ba je ebule poye oni fe mo ife amli wo ba o ma nye wo ha bu ma hi enye lo wo nda bo shi ake obo wo tue yehowa no ngba ajo bo baba o Gana gbeke bi ayi anawala Gana ma yi enye lo yi anawala nye yi wala don Yuri bo ni lati ya Azuma Yunis encha na la sukuru kanda AMA basic school mini ajara na pare baba Chenla School Independence Avenue One Basic. Jela Malana, Alare Badali, Yunwa na Sharagwali Daba Yobi Dale Ninti Gana Man Sulinsi Daba Sile Gahande Lichu Di Impa Happy Yobi Na Ayi Tinim Gana Bipu Ro Kapare Tu Zunga Kwambi Ni Chen Kura Paba Ni Da Paba Nkuli Kwanga Di Bimang Ni Ting Bang Wale Bagi Kala Anti Cho Ni La Ting Bang Zola Na Ting Bang Sulinsi Cho Kam Bete latin nam gana be sol kate mate ye musra un son le tam bang opu kum snam ton. Tibu jam la la sang o mani yelgu. Dama, de pun kate nam bang mate ye musra un son le tam bang fukum snam ton. 
tengba zo lana anya la ngwa ngbebe yala mangli toru nzu tinimga na bi puru kapara pam na yala mangli ma ashiri nya la ba wante haro nirbu zo ni ashanga ani lo za paliya ate ka senior high karun kpalin yole ka sol yo ka falan gba bi chan senior high karun ma de la nan tinya sim pam na ni la yele karun bi di matuma la kun kwa makari pa karun zon di pam la din nan pam se bi pam ka bi kor sin la bi karun ma polo vian yala jil malana to you ni ngom mans lin se chu ma ta chi e yule yi ye ni ye man le she karun kar pam se to dun zo tin ma ta ma ha kadama agom nan su ni pam se karun ma kar ti to ni ben yala kwale de ya che ka bun dira ni tuma ni bayana kare bo le planting for food and jobs la ni yal man ri zungo da ma tuma ni ya ka fara balgi napko ti bi pola tuma ka karun be tuma kalin sla balgi ngoma yen che ka bi pola gban yi na un son ka tin gban wol yebge din la pa he bo bli di ba yo bi shale din yolin yi la gban nun sun un pan si tin gban wol lebge sun tuma kare ti to ni vian yala jil malana yu ni ngoma sun se chu ma ta che yule Ala fe ni sudo ntabli nan gban yin tinum gana be pam de jande pam sun ya dia sun tuma ka la fe ni sudo din betima pam se jil malana tukuto kala atuntum sa za ntina ka tam da gban malgula yala amalguma che ka da gban ni kurgu ni biza ni jina magi tibon ni tun nyaku ntutun gban ngom halu che be kam dama de tu yakatu yutab ngbu kagbub suru nche tab taya katum tab jilma ka la fe nu sudo pans kalanti to ni ven yala tengban zolana de nanti gana be nya sim pam ai to panga ma omonku anyi sini varavara dibuti behegu puni katiti ngban waleb gun suntuma pansi ka chan lanti to ni ven yala tengban zolana de lanun te nya sim pam ai to pam ma mon bin ya chan zim chat tengban wo puni na kamana bundra na sutura kada konse din num za mai hot tin gbanwo pun din lala din nan chaka lyab gum sun tuto ni ka tuma nan bayana kala pan sun gana ngo ne ma na tuma lan bon te zan dab sun ngo un pa pam na ni yar gana ne ma anam ju pun bi akam la din la pa hai jil malana ka ti bor nyala apan man ka tin gban ni sabta an tablet yin su dun dona pun din lala Sasa ha tukula nya ku chale briti ya rejoti tin gban wai nin kashi din sun kati lebgun sun tuma pansi kalanti to ni vian yala din ban din nyanga jilmala na na do dan kwa akufu adu tin gban wo zolana tin bilo alkaule kadama tin pansi karam ka pansi pambu jilmatibu din nyanga kalan gbutu man vian yala tun kampune kada pansi diago Nito so pia le chu dum pa pi yab na ayi tin ban zo lana tin pa ya pam na ala te 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 shalma na un juma bo zo sa na un shal gana be na un sha tin ban zo lana na un shal gana te pa ya Konya fi madoma tin jubli madana school la independence avenue one base pla Teresa Muzu maske dem le kanda yin road s to one base de vieux pak bada si to hana de quoi la fo de cuisse non non zan bla devo avelia ji de klo la buguto kuda te du kha fa enkeke adelia nya fo bla devo avelia sin magana ho de cuisse non non mi de vieux katan la gana la kadem agona du ko fa ngodola si wo kuku tu de kolata vai pla esu la gbagba jembe yohana tu de goma de pesi mi to gbe o tu dadi na mi laji du plo la buguto le azasi ari du mala ona na mo ni popo de vio ba wa na gbada si du kwa le emata la mi de vio ha fo e va vie e ye mi edia mi akwa ji ma didi o fi ana aba so he we ene du plo la gana de vio la pa dam na o ba na nya me si wo du an wudo Nanya vito sin la via o ba van e wodo o pa ngba dodo gada oji sku de la fama hila wa ba amesi o sin tata malio ha pa vio pa monu la sku dem ndudu nana sku vio ha kakata ena ba da vi gada o la sku dem 
Ikulala bubuto. Enye mi afa bado draba. Suko denya o na ijeji. E yo wa kopo wa ko apo la opo jidudu siamo. Alabana to asiamo ku mi afa taru jinu na azana ton avamo. Nu papa hena nu du du ple da wa ju pa de do sina wala. Che kunye hena da wa ju amagada o si wa ba kodo de ji de kwato la du kwamo. Na ko hana da wa du so ho. Eye wa de do mapo we la suku koko de de vola ji kwato. Esi a we ba amesi on ha akpere du kwa ho hena du kwa fa ngo yi. Nu to ada o sina ga wa ha la a we ba du kwa na ingo. Du ple la bubuto. Nti fafa kula de kao o. Nye kwa siya kwa tade di ni na aza. Mi de vye le gana le bra biyam le do ki bo bo mo bo. Mi e hiyan de diye no no to he si a wa bo. Nu vo di wo wo si wana bo bo vwa le gagam de mi de vye o me la nu na chi. Du kula la bubuto. Agwa gba si yi na ka je hana bo. De kao o va miyan no vin da gonto o do ma la. Nye nu to fo o wo si hiyan bo miyan de je si. A fi de kao o kule nti fafa na li kare lu si kwa siya me la. A hiyan bo miyan fi an lo lo. Cho cho ke kule bu bu de de miyan nyo o fo si si de glo nya o. Du klo la, anye jijo gande na mi gana de vyo. Nanye ba na ton, a cho o do fo koko siya. A chi zanu nana kule a ho ho nyo. E si a we be. E si a we be du klo la na ingo. Du klo la, nye gale. Anye jijo na mi nanye ba. Ndu du klo la nye ta si o cho na du kwa bu bu o ma vala nyo na chi. E ye mi a do bi vi o wale, un de o wale gana le jaja kule a fo flo nyo. E si a a wa ba, do wa du e na va, e ye du kwa ha na yi ngo. Mi e de je si, e si a wa le, o fa a wa do do ma la fu pa fa on ha, si nye kwa da wuna du kwa. Du kwa la, me ga la ba biyam le le kwi bo bo mo ba na, na tro a si le mi a fa di wa wa bi vi fo le mi a fa fo o mo, kwa mi a ba a blo o ji ha. E si a wa ba, chi do do le chi jayi, kwa do le le jin, na de kwa to, e ye mi a te wun a tu du kwa do le un se mo. Du klo la bubuto nana adu da un kwa e kufu adu. Gan adu kwa klo la, mi de vyo le ngba dom na oba, mi adu va vye akba la sos lo, e ye mi abu mi apwa nuna la o le ni si anu a oma. Mi adu fwa fwa jokba nye na o, mi adu akwa na o bwana do to mi, ma o ne yu a o, mi adu akba jijina gan adu vyo, mi adu akba jijina gan adu kwa klo la, mi adu akba jijina gan adu kwa akpe na mi. Di afasha, etosu edu esia mienu wo obeni mbusu me de etosu nsia wa afimu. Inkwa sema mofadi bre omai ni ledi disui. Midi ndi poshia ekia usa sapo mini mini ya bichwis ofoiwa ando. Yoko school independence avenue one basic. Oman peni obeni mbusu me de etosu nsia si ukwada wa afimu. Na yenfa udi afiri danu druso. Senti mofai wa omai muni na e ma yen peni ufwa. Ebri o mo je ni deji o ma ni si o. Eni wa ne gusu bua o ma ni pumtu ni na ayiko ni moni o. O ma mpeni abi bi asadi e bechi ama edi o ma ni fa hundi afashenwa. Yema mo fa kwa ma edi anu di same tuja na sa akonya no. Yantu tu na sekra. Efri se eno na yefa di akuma swadi ni na tu o ma ni ni. O ma mpeni e japa gan o mo fa fi akuma mu dawase sa o gusu di u bosha so. If we say, "Am I a nyan arishemu o mu? Nukrenye, we a ja, we juno o mahu. Nye nye a diye nina da wakuma so. Free si nye hai bo sheno. We disu, ama mo bo fwa kwe nyan, wo nyi na wo intuwa so su kumu. E ye ye ni jye so se, school feed ni shi shaye no, wa tre wa shi mu. Ye be ke nyan mo fwa do do na, ama wo nyan ji school kwa hon. Om man pengi ni. Nim di fuo, eh yam pai bo, eh ni yenda suwa se, nyu mesu yon hon sembe kwa sa ye wen hiya dia, eh di kain wa memu wa yimu, se dia eh ti edan afia fa shenu so, bebe mu. Planting for food and jobs no so, ama eh niya ke kwe juma hon, mebu na niya juma ye, wakuma suwa dia be mu, na suwa bapa, ama o hiya bu bro suwa ti wa ye ma yimu. Afe yi, yam kanu sen, na ya sene sen, na po shi shaye no, eh wamu se mebu no e nyanu afi bo diye, Nanso, aso wasni, a bwa ma wansa ako wano. E ya kwe nya, e be bwa ma mebunu, aye wafe mudia diya bwa omani mpuntu. Af, 
Ebium, a month and four hours, dear Bano. Bebua, my mind, pum to a cosso. On my penny, a tear that I fear fashion or so. Assume dear, name Kabum Hufa. Sainty, Mofire, or my moody on Rasia, so say. Bambo send the pedia, said the abaya, a best sinipa bonny for you, my dear old kind. Nay, you who is slow if you move from. On my penny, yet me, Jay, and you saw a new mapa, why, while Brian Mada Gondi. If we say, and I'm more sooner, then you are no more dagon, and I'm cabomni as soon dee. A Yakuma swas, ye say, and because so bought in cabomni as soon dee and home mine, Ninian to Boisier, Bonifache, any old bull, and my own adventure. A japa, or my own friend in any bed chin won't say, Would you do it now, Biano? Bell boy, you can tass it all. The best of mine, whom to Mokena. Oh, my penny, you need better pass, say, near my a crafty and my hope for so by a man, Munu Befiho. Anna a subeti, say be ya, ye ni be dee me muni mati se, in yani nin tad yon hun. Ye be bwa ama yem be mudu duana en ye juma ama yon puntu akwenini. Ye be fa kwenye su dia boa baso, wa shall so pa u dia chey. Saint ni se, ya tu sa fell wa jabu biasia, u sha gana ta de ye ni ju hon pa. Mam penny, ye di yang vas yes ya u se. Who do she say the guacquem? Ama or may if you are the Kuya or a few money months in the sun, be free her. Ama or may you want it? A best now boy who buy everything I want. Say up on Mudia, never bought on my new punto. Gana, my penny, and now the dark one, a good father. A tapa, my friend, or my money in our shop or say, the very worst idea, they are buying penny for, and now she has all your queen in them. Your mama feed it up, some of our more piaffo. Oh, my penny, yet Dawasi. So I have said, Yammy Shell, Gana Mofan Cossy. Oh, my penny, Cossy. Gana Dishan now Cossy, yet Dawasi. The second independence anniversary celebration, March 6, 2019. Children's message to the nation. My name is Mary Asamwa with my friend Matoda Bwadi. We, we attend, attend school at Independence, independence Avenue 1 Basic. Basic. Your Excellency, Wednesday, the 6th of March, 2019, marks the 62nd anniversary of Ghana as an independent nation. We, the children of Ghana, salute the founders as well as present statesmen and women who continue to build on the foundation of our nation. Mr. President, on the eve of every Independence Day celebration, children of Ghana are given the opportunity to present a message to the nation. This opportunity we take seriously to express the genuine concerns of young people. Mr. President, the children of Ghana are very thankful to you for being so trustworthy. You are indeed a father who has his people at heart. You have fulfilled almost all your promises. You have implemented the free senior high school policy to pave the way for even the poor to access senior high education. We are also happy that you have expanded the school feeding program to many schools in the country. This will encourage more children to enroll in schools. Your Excellency, it is our fervent hope and prayer that education will continue to be the highest priority of your government as the theme for this year's celebration can only be achieved through education. Planting for food and jobs has yielded fruits by creating jobs and reducing poverty among the people of Ghana. The introduction of NAPCO has given jobs to, you, to the youth as a partial solution to graduate unemployment in the country. This will enable them to contribute their quota to the development of the nation. In addition, the creation of six new regions would also enhance development in our country. Your Excellency, the theme for this year's celebration reads, Celebrating Peace and Unity. We, the children of Ghana, humbly request that security is strengthened in our country to prevent criminal acts which result in creating fear and panic among we, the children. Your Excellency, we cannot mention your achievements without making reference to your contribution to ensure that our brothers and sisters in Dagon enjoy the peace and unity other citizens are enjoying. To promote peace and unity in our nation, we wish to humbly call on all to show love, tolerance, 
forgiveness and respect for one another's opinions. Mr. President, we, the children of Ghana, would be very grateful if you could use your high office to eliminate all forms of corruption. This will enhance development in the country. Mr. President, we would be very grateful if importation and purchase of some foreign goods could be discouraged to promote the production and purchase of made in Ghana goods, such as food items and clothes. This will enhance the development of our nation and reduce unemployment. We take this opportunity to recognize your leadership by example of using made in Ghana clothing even at official functions. Furthermore, Your Excellency, it is also a humble request that measures are put in place for waste management in both our homes and public places. This will reduce flooding whenever the rain sets in and make our nation clean. It will also protect us from diseases so that collectively, in good health, we can contribute to the development of our nation, Ghana. Finally, Your Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Ekufu Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, we, the children on our part, promise to show commitment to our studies, respect for authority, and be disciplined in all that we do. We wish you a happy 62nd anniversary. Mr. President, thank you for your attention. God richly bless you. Long live the children of Ghana. Long live the President of the Republic of Ghana. Long live Ghana. Thank you. Wow, let's give them a round of applause. Let's do it better for them. Great people with great messages there. The children shall now present a copy of the message to the president. And as they do that, let me acknowledge the translators of the message. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it better. The translators of the message was done by Akoko Anan for Ga, and then Dokas Papu for Akan, Abubakar M. Awal Dagbani, Lily Defo for English, and then Kennedy Awli for Ever. Thank you so much, President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And another warm round of applause for these young ladies and young gentlemen. Well done. We have reached the climax of this event where 24 expectant young men and women who have excelled in a basic education certificate examination 2018 edition will receive the honor from the president when he presents to them their prize. But just to give you a bit of a background, this event has been ongoing since 1993 and has provided scholarships each year to 20 young, brilliant students between the ages of 14 and 19, one male, one female from each of the 10 regions. And I guess this will be the last year we are having 10 regions, given the creation of additional six regions. The award winners are selected based on their exceptional academic performances in the basic education certificate examination, as well as extracurricular activity. The objective is to recognize and reward academic excellence, to promote and encourage inclusion of students with additional educational needs, and to reward exemplary conduct and good morale. This year, performance was based on the 2018 BCE results, best public school overall male and female in the 10 regions based on raw scores collected from the West Africa Examination Council, WIAC. Best student overall male and female with additional educational needs, that is visual or hearing impairment, were also selected. And to ensure absolute transparency and fairness, best male and female students in the public schools in each region were selected based on the raw scores from WIAC. And this year, by kind courtesy, as usual, of Nestle Milo, the energy food drink of future champions, apart from the exposure they have had, and they've had several engagements since they've been in Accra, each will receive a cash prize of 1,000 Ghana cities, a year's supply of Nestle Milo products. In fact, Nestle products, generally speaking, in school. A crystal plaque, a medal, 
to keep us a souvenir, a Samsung tab because we realize where technologically we are in our education. They also receive supply of books and stationery from Kingdom Books and Stationery as well as the scholarship that the president is giving them. And so ladies and gentlemen, at this stage, I'd like to invite the first gentleman of the land, the president, Nana Dodankwa Kufuado, And he would be flanked during the presentation by the Minister of Education, Dr. Matthew Poku Pempe, and then also the Director General of the Ghana Education Service and the MD of Nestle to do the presentation. And so award winners, are you ready? I think they are. So we invite the president to um, please stand and then wait for the award winners. And we shall start from the Ashanti region. And I entreat the camera crew, if you could create space for the award winners to walk through, because they'll be walking this way and coming up the days to receive their medals, prizes, an award from President Nana Dudankwa Ekufuado. Our first, our first award recipient is from the Ashanti region of Ghana. From the Kumasi Metro, she attended the Good Shepherd Roman Catholic Junior High School and is currently at Wesley Girls Senior High School reading general science, hoping to become a pharmacist. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Christabel Aqua Asante. A bigger round of applause for her. Also from the Ashanti region, we have George Kofi Edu. And George is also from the Kumasi Metro, from the same school, Good Shepherd Roman Catholic Junior High School. He's currently at the Presbyterian Senior High School, Presec Legon, reading general science. What does he want to do? He says he wants to do so much that he wants to take his time to explore the subjects and the opportunities before making up his mind. Next, we go to the Bonafo region, and perhaps she's the last person to come from the Bonafo region since the creation of the new regions will take effect. We have As Asrai Japan, Sandra. She attended the, Sun she's from the Sunyani municipality. She attended Sacred Heart Junior High School. She's currently at the Sunyani Senior High School, studying general science and hoping to become an optometrist. Congratulations, Sandra. Also from the Bonafo region, we have Albert Efriye Dramina. And Albert attended the Sacred High Junior High School within the Sunyani municipality in the Bonafo region. He is currently at St. Peter Senior High School in Kwetia, in the Eastern region, studying general science with the ambition of becoming a medical doctor. Next, we go to the region that is described as the seat of education in Ghana, the central region. And our next award recipient is Essie Indu Ajay. She was a former student of the Inkran, Ingresi Junior High School A in the Asin South District of the central region. She's currently studying at the Wesley Girls Senior High School in Cape Coast, studying home economics and hoping to become a dietitian. Staying in the central region, our next award recipient is from the Utu Senior District. He attended the Papasi St. Peter's Catholic Junior High School. He's currently at Presbyterian Boys School, Presec Legon, reading general science and hoping to become a medical doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, Perry Abra Frempong. Next, we go to the Eastern region. Our next award recipient is a former student of the Nana Osai Jan Junior High School at Insawam Edueji. She's currently at Wesley Girls Senior High School in Cape Coast, reading general science, hoping to become a medical doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Nkroma Arthur.
also from the Eastern region, and also a former student of Nana Osaijan Junior High School in Sawem Adwejui, currently at Presbyterian Boys Senior High School, Legon, reading business and hoping to become a chartered accountant, Edmond Opoku Afre. We come back to the greater Accra region of Ghana. And our next award recipient is a former student of the Kaneshi Kingsway 1A Basic School. She's currently at Wesley Girls Senior High School in Cape Coast, reading general science, hoping to become a pilot one day. Nanama Ejeichum. Our second award recipient from the Greater Accra region of Ghana is a former student of the Anya MA1 Basic School in the Gans Central Municipality. He's currently at Accra Academy, reading general science. He wants to become a medical doctor, Seth Eduhene. So we move straight to the northern region, and the next award recipient is Adam Huda. From the former school is the Little Way RCJHS, and currently at St. Louis Senior High School, pursuing general science, and hopes to become a software engineer. <laughs> next, we, in the northern region, we have Nyangpani Abdul Kudus Kesson, also a former student of Evangelical Church of Ghana School Complex in the Sagnarigu um, district, and currently a student at Presec Boys. <laughs> Kesson wants to be a doctor and an entrepreneur. We move straight to the Upper East region, we have Awa for Comfort, Asibi. Former student of Gori JHS in the Boku West District, currently at Holy Child School. And permit me at this juncture to say action. Action, not words. Yes, Hobson. So we move straight to the well, we are staying in the Upper West region. We have Ousu Benedict Taifia. Ousu Benedict is from St. Gabriel's GHS, currently at Tamale Senior High School and pursuing general science. Then we have Jock Pieter James, also from the Wow West Municipality, former school student of Ku Yilichiri Catholic JHS, and now at Nandom Senior High School. James aspires to become an electronic engineer. And then we have Quenu Rosalina Efia, also from the Volta region, former student of Kabori School, currently at Achimota Senior High School, pursuing science, sorry, general arts. And then we have Awute Prince Kori, also in the same Volta region, former student of Amfeta Chebi JHS, currently at Presec Boys and offering general signs. <laughs> now to the Western region, we have Amwa Winifred Kwanche, former student of Bogosu Golden Star DAJHS, currently at Wesley Girls High School, Cape Coast, offering general signs and wants to be a medical doctor in future. We have Bedu Edwin from the Western region, 
former students of Bibieni and Riaso Bekwai Kanoso DAJHS, and presently at Infansipim Senior High School, offering general science. Well, we'll have to go back to the Upper East region and invite Peter Alahari Akurugu, <laughs> formerly of the Lamboya Model Junior High School, currently at Prempe College in Kumasi, reading general science. Congratulations, Peter. The next batch of students have excelled despite having physical challenges. And these are our award recipients with special needs. And so we would invite the helpers to assist them to come and receive the award. And we will start with a lady whose fighting spirit makes her want to become a lawyer one day. Anita Bedu is from the Eastern region. A former student of the Kropon School for the Blind. She's currently at the Okwapeman Senior High School studying general arts. Congratulations. I'm sure the President and indeed Justice Nene Omegacha will have a few words of encouragement for her in her quest to become a lawyer. Next, we have another enterprising young man who tells me he wants to become a diplomat and is so interested in languages, he would want to serve Ghana on the foreign shores. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Theophilus Elom Jirako. Theophilus has visual impairment. He's a former student of the Kropon School for the Blind in Equiapim North Municipality. He's presently at Mauli School, Ho, and he's studying general arts. And then from the Setre South District, we have Yebua Ousua Frida, former student of Ashanti School for the Deaf and currently at Mampon School for the Dead, offering home economics. And for the first time, the only award recipient who wants to be a teacher. They all want to be medical doctors. <laughs> and as to why she only wants to become a teacher, only God knows, they all want to become medical doctors. <laughs> Well, our last recipient is from the Upper Dentia West District, former student of BCS DAJHS. We invite Ajay Prosper, currently at Dunkwao SHS, offering technical. Please, let's keep the club going. Ladies and gentlemen, in all humility and before I invite the president to share his remarks, shall we all rise and give these champions of ours, these students, a resounding round of applause, a standing ovation indeed, for their achievements. Thank you very much for being so generous with your applause and congratulations. At this stage, it's my pleasure to invite His Excellency, Dana Dudanko Ekufuad, applause. of the Supreme Court, Director General of the Ghana Education Service, 
and Managing Director of Nestle Ghana Limited, traditional rulers Nime Name, members of the diplomatic corps, parents, teachers, awardees, school children, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. We're here this morning to honor these young, brilliant students who out of some 500,000 students that sat last year's Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE, emerged as the overall best students. They brought considerable joy and pride to their families, schools, communities, and to themselves. And it is only appropriate that they receive the plaudits of the nation. Congratulations are in order to each and every one of you. I'm inspired because I know I'm looking into the eyes of our country's future. You remind me of the fact that as president, I must continue to work harder to ensure that knowledge and skill become the backbone of our economy and society. It is the best way to guarantee the progress and prosperity of our nation. That is why I'm delighted that two years of government's hard work has ensured that all of you, including your colleagues and seniors in senior high schools across the country, in SHS 1 and SHS 2, are beneficiaries of the free senior high school policy. The government I lead believes that knowledge and talent are not for the rich and privileged alone, and that free education widens the gates of opportunities to every child, especially those whose talents are arrested because of poverty. At this point in our history, we're determined to complete the transformation of the country into a modern 21st century nation that remains distinctly and uniquely Ghanaian. It is for this reason that investments in our educational system are a key priority for my government. The investments being made also require that we produce a school curriculum that will give you, our young men and women, the education needed to make you compete on both the national and global stage. As I indicated to Parliament last week, a new standards-based curriculum will be rolled out from kindergarten to class six in primary schools. This curriculum has drawn upon best practices from across the world and will focus on making our students confident, innovative, creative thinking, digitally literate, well-rounded, patriotic citizens. Mathematics, science, reading, writing, and creativity are at the heart of this new curriculum. We're not sparing any efforts to make education in Ghana of the best quality, fit for the needs of the 21st century. In all of this, we recognize the important role of the teacher. We are upgrading all our colleges of education to university colleges affiliated to five of our public universities. In September last year, we introduced a four-year Bachelor of Education BA degree program to replace the diploma in basic education. Ultimately, this means that a first degree will be the minimum requirement for teaching at any level of our education system. We've also conducted the maiden teacher licensure examination to ensure that potential teachers acquire a professional license and meet national teaching standards of knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes required to deliver quality education in our schools. Out of 28,757 applicants 
who sat for the first exam, 21,297 passed a healthy beginning for the new system. These policies and programs we are implementing today are geared towards the growth and development of Ghana. We're preparing you for the birth of a prosperous society, a society which creates opportunities for all its citizens, rewards creativity and enterprise, honesty and hard work. I, ch I challenge all of you to take advantage of the wide-ranging opportunities that will be afforded you in the years ahead. As you accept these awards, I urge you to remain grounded, honest, and modest as you strive for excellence. And let the Almighty be your guide at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, students, a day such as this cannot be complete without acknowledging the important roles played by the teachers, parents, and families of today's award winners. Collectively, you have nurtured and invested in them, and you deserve to share in the adulation. I also thank Nestle for a 16-year contribu continuing contribution to this ceremony. As we prepare to celebrate 62 years of independence from the British colonial power on the theme celebrating peace and unity, the formal commemoration ceremony of the anniversary taking place for the first time in our history outside of the capital Accra in Tamale. Let us eschew all acts of divisiveness and self-centeredness, tendencies which will only retard our forward march. We must have the pride to acknowledge that we have made positive strides, yet we must also have the humility to appreciate that we still have a long way to go. We must have the patience to accept that just as our fight for freedom and independence was not achieved in a day, so too national prosperity will not come overnight. But we are establishing a solid foundation for the economic takeoff of our country. In peace and unity, I'm certain that we can build a new Ghanaian civilization which will attract the admiration of Africa and the world. So once again, congratulations to our award winners, and I'm expectant that the years ahead of you will be even more successful. May God bless you and us all, and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. We also thank you, Mr. President, as usual, with characteristic Elan and finesse. At this stage, we would like to thank all of you for coming and thank His Excellency the President as well. So we will invite one of the award recipients, Sandra Asra Ejapong, to come and give us the vote of thanks. His Excellency Nanado Danko Kufado, Minister of Education, Honorable Maitri Opoku Prempe, other ministers present here, all protocol observed. Good morning once again. I'm Sandra and I'm from the Bungahafu region. On behalf of all the awardees, we want to express our greatest gratitude to the Almighty God for making this day possible for us. It's by His grace and mercy that we are still here. And so we are very thankful to Him. Then the next gratitude goes to our dear President, His Excellency Nana Dankwa, for recognizing our efforts and then rewarding us of it. We are very grateful. You've really given us an opportunity to meet you, and that's a very good 
experience that we are having today. Um, then after that, not after that, our parents have also um, played a very good role. They really supported us, and you are very grateful to them. Then to our sponsors, you've also been very good to us. You've been supporting us through, through this whole week. You've been sponsoring us with your products and other things, especially Nestle Ghana and then Fiesta Royal. Thank you very much. Then to our teachers, you've been supportive. You've been tolerating us, although sometimes we play stubborn, but still, you've been supporting us. Thank you a lot. All of you here, all of you here have contributed to our success, and that we are very grateful. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And thank you so much, Sandra, for that vote of thanks, all the way from Sunyani Senior High School. We shall now have the closing prayer, and that will be said by Christabel Aqua from Ashanti Region. Please, shall we all rise so we can pray? Our most gracious and everlasting Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for bringing us all here safely. We pray, for, we pray and commit this program. We thank you for making this program a success. And we pray that even as we are going to our various places of interest, you will continue to be with us. Strengthen us so that we will never give up. And in whatever we do, help us to acknowledge you. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, I've prayed with so much thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Please remain seated. The president is here to leave. We'll have a few photographs to be taken. And the first one we will take is to invite the school children who performed today to quickly come up here. Please bring them very quickly. They have looked forward to taking a picture, the small ones with the president. Please guide them here very quickly. After that, I will be inviting the award winners to come up here. And they have a series of pictures to take with the president and with the various dignitaries who are here. So can we first have the children who delivered the message to the president and the young ones who did the drama, the performance. They have been relishing this opportunity. And so they deserve that chance with the president. The teachers, are also there. teachers, can you please have them organized very quickly? Thank you very much. Award winners, please start preparing. Thank you very much. Okay. Smile. Well, thank you very much. And now we will invite the award winners. 
all 24 of them to come and join His Excellency the President. I think they are well arranged now so we can take the picture. We have two, two more. No, three more, three more. Award winners will remain standing and I will now invite all ministers of state present and all those who sat with the president on the days as well as officials of the Ghana Education Service to join this group to take the picture. Thank you. Ministers of State, we're very happy to have you here. Yeah, Mr. Hunkalense. <laughs> Ghana Education Service. Please hurry up and join this. Next, we'll be going to Nestle. So the, the Nestle team, please start preparing. Okay, and now directors of the Ghana Education Service. This is your big day. Please come and have a photo opportunity with a president. Nestle, I'll be calling you in just a bit, but please quickly organize yourselves. GES directors, are you all here? Ministry of Education directors. Okay. Thank you very much, the ministers of state, the GES officials. Award recipients will remain standing with the president. Thank you very much, everybody else. And now I'll invite the staff of Nestle, our proud sponsors. Nestle, thank you very much, ministers of state. Thank you very much, directors of the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education. Thank you very much. At this stage, we will allow Mr. President to depart, but we have further pictures to take. Award winners, please remain standing. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your presence here today.
We can we can go ahead. All right. The president is coming round, so I'm sure our distinguished guests, our traditional rulers, will remain as the president comes to.